publish the page if you look you will see where the published page is i've just launched you say this is a test page for whatsapp and you see all your content and everything is good so this is how you deal with page there's no much difference between a page and a post it's just the definition and its usage and of course you can always go back and you click on those three icons there uh, beside um, each um, page and you can edit view statistics or you can trash it so at this moment i'm gonna trash it so we can move on to the next phase and um, that is it as per page uh, next is uh, post uh, going back to the main window uh, posts is basically your blog aka blog your blog which is um, what where you write about events that are happening with your CDP and so on these are lists of all the uh, blogs that are currently existing on this uh, uh, page it, there's no difference uh, in editing a post and a page you just click the orange button to edit what is exactly existing or you can create a new one just follow the same suit as um, the page creation there isn't much to it and um, it's very easy uh, let me just go ahead and create a very simple uh, post page post not page please aka blog which is um, what uh, you will be using to update it updates uh, chronologically so basically the last one that you created will always be on top so that when people come in to your site and they go to the to the blog site they will see what you have created or what your site is all about if you want if they want to contact you then they go to the pages and so on there's no much difference between a page and a post it's just that one is the post is what you have to be using more often than your page page is when there is a big change of your website maybe your contact or something you know that is um, very prominent that's when you use your page instead of post one major difference uh, between a page and a post is the excerpt the excerpt is very necessary because uh, that's basically one of the f few things that google will grasp to display your post um when people are searching for anything that is related to what you have on your website so i will always recommend that you guys add that on any post that you create i have just finished creating the post and uh, this is a big post for wordpress app and if you look at it i've just launched it hey this is just what it is and um going through it there's nothing much difference between a page and a post unless you are at the back so the next topic that we're going to be taking up talking about is the media the media basically that is what holds all the media that you upload to your website from images document video audio so all of them resides here you can pre upload your image prior to creating a page or a post or you can attach it as an attachment when you are doing the um, you're creating the page or the post either way it's all the same you can also take a photo or take a video or choose from the device video or file or picture that's already existing so it gives you those options the next thing uh, will be uh, coming down the list will be comment uh, comment is basically where you have to manage existing comments uh, sometimes you might have to come here to approve comments edit comments or delete comments depending on how it is but uh, our website is optimized to filter spams uh, when spams comes in it will be able to filter it and uh, not uh, allow it to appear on your site so you don't have to worry much about that 
So that's what you do on the comment page. I will also encourage that you notify any comment that is a spam. You click on the spam button to so that it will be logged on as a spam and be eliminated eliminated next time anybody um, uses that. Coming back to the main page, the settings is where you you know if you want to change your password you your, your username you can change it you know that is just basically what that is uh you can monitor your site uptime and all those things this is just for admis major administrative issues that you do here and you can view your site and once you click on the view site it will show you how your site will look on any device that looks like the one that you're editing it with you know it will show you the live image of the site okay and then so the view admin uh button will basically open up uh, a browser that will you have to put your username and password to log in here and basically this gives you an insight of how the back end of editing wordpress looks like on a computer which is quite different from when you editing on a mobile device so they are quite different uh, i would not uh, recommend you guys to go there if you do not know how to use it just stay away from it and um, use the one that you will be very familiar with and that is a lot more less intimidating than this if you look at it you won't even understand if you've never used wordpress you won't understand what this does okay thanks so to round up on this video if you have any questions you can always uh, text me on my whatsapp or uh, you can always email me some of you have tried to contact me severally and i've been planning on making this video i'm happy that